Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Advanced Mathematics of Class 9 and what we are going to do is exercise 2.4 and we are into the last part that is we are left with only 3 sums number 4, 5 and 6. So let us see how to solve them without wasting any time. So start with number 4 and what do we have to show? We have to show that A union B is equal to A intersection B if and only if A is equal to B. Okay, so as we have seen earlier, if and only if means when we take this as the condition, we have to prove this part and after that we have to take this as the condition and we have to prove this part. So let us see, let us start. So first of all, let us consider this as our consider, uh, condition. So let A equal to B, this is our condition. Now we will try to prove, we will try to prove this part. So also let X belongs to A union B. So as we have seen A and B are equal, what we can do is we can write X belongs to A union A since A is equal to B. So in place of B we can write A. So what we can do is we can write A intersection A also because A union A and A intersection A are the same thing. Okay. So that means X can be written as A intersection B also. Again since A is equal to B. So in place of A we can write B. So here if we write it implied so we get A therefore A union B is equal to A intersection B and we are done with it. Very simple sum. If you have understood the previous part of the chapter this will become very easy for you. So what you have done? We have taken this as the condition first and we have proved this part. Now what we will do? We will take this as our condition. So let A union B equal to A intersection B. So this is our condition now. And now we will try to prove this part. So what we will do again also let x belongs to our LHS now is A. Okay. So if x is belonging to A then obviously A will be x will belong to A union B because in union B A is there along with it a separate set called B is there. So if x is belonging to A obviously it will belong to A union B. Now what is given is A union B and A intersection B are same. So we can write this as A intersection B also. Why? Since A union B is equal to A intersection B. Done. So that means if X belongs to A intersection B, that means X belongs to A and also X belongs to B. So X is common between both. So we can write X belongs to B. Intersection means it is the common between A and B. So if something belongs to A, it also belongs to B. So obviously X will belong to B. So if I write implied that means we are getting A equal to B. Hence we have shown what is the required question. Okay. So first we have taken this as the condition we have proven this one. Then we took this as our condition and we proved this one. That is done with question number 4. Now let us move on to question number 5. In question number 5 we have to draw a Venn diagram. So we have to prove something. We have to verify something. And we have to do it using a Venn diagram with not using any algebraic properties. Okay. So what do we have to verify? To verify A minus B union A minus C is equal to A minus B intersection C. This relation we have to verify using our Venn diagram. So what we will do first, we will take the LHS and we will draw a Venn series of Venn diagram for this. Then we will take our RHS and then we will draw a Venn diagram and we will see if the two resulting Venn diagrams match. So how do we do this? First let us draw a Venn diagram for A minus B. So obviously here are two three sets A, B and C. Three sets are there. So this is going to be how our Venn diagram is going to look like. So here is going to be one set A. We are going to have a set B and also we are going to have a set C. Okay. So this will be our universal set whatever it is. Now what we need to do we need to first draw A minus B. So this will be our A minus B Venn diagram. A minus B this is A, B and C. So A minus B means something that belongs to A but does not belong to B. So this region that I have shaded, this region belongs to A but it does not belong to B. Then we have to find the union of this with A minus C. So this will be our A minus C, A, B and C. This is our universal set. So A minus C means something that belongs to A but does not belong to C. So this is going to be our region. Okay. So we are drawing something other than C. 
So what do we get here? What is the union of these two? This and this we have to combine. So what do we get if we combine these two? This is A minus B union A minus C. So you have A, B and C. This is the universal sign. Now let us combine and see which regions are shaded. Of course this part is common. Here we have this region. So we will include this region and here we have this region with B. So we will include this region as well. Okay. So this is our A minus B union A minus C. So let it be figure 1. Let this be figure 2 and let this be figure 3. Okay. Now we will do the RHS. So this is our LHS and we will do our RHS. So what do we have in RHS? A minus B intersection C. So first let us find the Venn diagram for only A. So we have A here, B and C. Universal set. So let us shade the whole A. Okay. So the whole A is there. Now we need to subtract this or difference of A and B intersection C. So A, B and C. B intersection C is which part? Common part of B and C. So this is B and this is C. So the common part is this region. Right? Now we have to subtract this region from this. So which is the common part? See this region is the common part in both. So we will subtract that. If I subtract that part then what do I get? Let's see. That will be our final Venn diagram. A, B, C, U. So what do we have? From this A we have to remove this region. So remove this region means this part should be omitted. So what do we have? We have this diagram that I am going to draw now. Okay. This is our A. This is A uh, B intersection C. And this is our A minus B intersection C. So let this be figure 4, figure 5 and this is our figure 6. So now if we look into these two Venn diagrams, this is our left hand side, this is our right hand side, this is, these are the final two ones. So this Venn diagram and this Venn diagram are exactly the same. So therefore from figure 3 and 6 we get, what do we get? A minus B union A minus C is equal to A minus B intersection C, hence verified. So I hope you have understood what we have done here. Done. This is with question number 5. Let's move on to question number 6. That is the last question from this exercise. So what do we have to do here? What has been given? It has been given that P of A means P of A means it is a power set of of A. Okay. Power set of A means all the possible sets from a given uh, set. So if A is a set then all the possible sets that we can form from a given set that is the power set. I hope you remember this. So now what we will do? We have to prove something. So we have to show number one to show P of A intersection B is equal to P of A intersection P of B is always true. This is what we have to prove that it is always true. So how do we do this? So let us start. To show so let p of a contain the element x such that x belongs to p of a okay and p of b let the element in p of b be y such that y belongs to p of b okay so now what do we do next so here we have to prove that this is always true. So therefore, P of A intersection B. A intersection B means all the elements, the common elements. So if P of A is this and P of B is this, then P of A intersection B will contain X and Y. Of course, X and Y both will be there such that X belongs to P of A and Y belongs to P of B. Done. So that means it will be P of A intersection P of B since it is N. So therefore which implies P of A intersection B which is always true. 
so we have done this hence root okay this was very simple because it was intersection so we have a x and y and y means if it belongs to x it will also belong to y so we have got our intersection set done this is true now comes the tricky part with the second times question number two or roman two we have to show that p of a union b p of a union b equal to p of a union p of b is not always true and why is that so let us see what we get so we have taken our previously again do the same thing let uh, p of a be equal to x such that x belongs to p of a and p of b be equal to y such that y belongs to p of b okay so now we have to find therefore p of a union b is equal to what it is equal to x such that x belongs to p of a uh, or y such that y belongs to p of b of course because in union we have either this or that right so x will either belong it will contain either the x belonging to a or the x belonging to b and there is one more thing or it can contain x and y such that x belongs to p of a and y belongs to p of b why is this why is this extra let's see suppose this be our set a and set b okay if i say something belongs to a union b it can either belong to a uh, it can either belong to b so we can have this so if i write p of a union p of b that means suppose this is p of a and this is p of b okay so if i write p of a then i write again p of b i un say so union set then this common region becomes two times once during a we are considering this region once during b we are again considering this region so this region comes twice so what we get here we get p of a union p of b union p of a intersection b okay now when now we have three things what we need to do is p of a union p of b so here if p of a intersection b is equal to 5 means there is nothing common that means the two sets are like this a and b there is no common region in that case then p if this is 5 then p of a union b will be equal to p of a union p of b because this one becomes 5 if p of a uh, intersection b is equal to a how is this possible if p of a intersection b is equal to means b is the superset and a is the proper subset if b is this and a is this the inner one then in that case the intersection of b and a will be this region which is a if a union b is this then also we can write p of a union b is equal to p of a union p of b union p of again a in, in case of this we will write p of a so p of a union p of a is again p of a union p of b then also it is true and if p of a intersection b is equal to b then also it will be true p of a union b will be p of a union p of b and in case of this we will write oh sorry this is p of a is p of b we will write union p of b okay so we will write p of a union p of b here also it is true it's so in these three cases it will be true otherwise otherwise means in this case what will be the diagram this will be a and this will be b so the intersecting common region will be the b so that's why we have written p of b so these are the three possible cases other than these three cases if it is not so this is our first case that we have considered this is our second case and this is our third case if these three cases are not applicable and this is our diagram the general diagram that we have drawn at first if this is the diagram in that case otherwise p of a intersect uh, union b will not be equal to p of a union p of b hence verified so there are a few conditions under which this will be true 
but other than those conditions it will not be true so that's why it is not always true and this is our end of the exercise end of the chapter as well so i hope you have understood what we have done today if you have any confusion make sure you ask me in the comment section or you can ask me directly don't uh, if you have any doubts don't keep it to yourself just ask it i'll try to solve it out for you so thank you everyone for watching and until next time cheers